wonderful grace of Jesus, greater than all my sin. How shall my tongue describe it? Where shall its praise begin? Taking away my burden, setting my spirit free. For the wonderful grace of Jesus reaches me. Wonderful the matchless grace of Jesus, grace of Jesus. Deeper than the mighty rolling sea, the rolling sea. Higher than the devil's grace, all and all sufficient grace for even me, for even me. Broader than the scope of my transgression, seeing it greater far than all my sin and shame. Oh, magnify the precious name of Jesus, praise His name. My dear friends, let us reflect today on the gospel text of John chapter 5 verses 1 to 16 wherein Jesus heals a man who had been ill for 38 years on a Sabbath day. Jesus took pity on the man who had been sick and 38 years is quite a long time. After the healing the man disappears in the crowd and it was only later that Jesus found him and said give up your sins so that something worse may not overtake you a man was there who had been sick for 38 years <laughs> Do you want to get well? Sir, I don't have anyone here to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. While I'm trying to get in, somebody else gets there first. Get up. Pick up your mat and walk. Afterwards, Jesus found him in the temple. You are well now. So stop sinning, or something worse may happen to you. My dear friends, Jesus did not imply that the man's sickness had been a cause or punishment for sin. Rather, he wished to make it clear to the man that sin is worse than any physical ailment for which his sickness had paralyzed him. Sin would lead him to eternal death. Jesus came to save us as a whole human beings, not as disembodied souls. Before today's miracle is a sign that Jesus' saving grace will bring our whole being to a state of health and happiness. Wonderful grace of Jesus, reaching the most divine, by its transforming power, making him God's dear child. 